Hi, I'm Elaine Shea at Green Biz, and I'm here with Kevin McGinnis, who's a vice president at Sprint. Welcome, Kevin. Hi, Elaine. <laughs> so you're at, a, at something called Pinsight Media. What is that? Sure, it's a new business unit that we have created that's focused on some of the more nascent or emerging spaces in the, in the wireless industry, um, specifically mobile advertising, mobile analytics, mobile commerce, and mobile offers. How do those things come together to create kind of a new uh, business opportunity for us? That's great. And so what are you working on right now? Um, so right now we're working on um, quite a few things, but um, specifically around entrepreneurship, uh, we have just uh, announced the Sprint Accelerator, which is a mobile health accelerator that uh, we're partnering with Techstars, which is one of the leading global brands for accelerators, um, to try to bring entrepreneurs to Kansas City, focus on creating healthcare startups that have a wireless um, angle and a wireless slant, uh, and try to um, help accelerate their business and get them into market uh, as quickly as possible. So what are the solutions that you're providing through, in terms of the, uh, you're incubating these, you're creating an accelerator that's incubating these startups that have to do with health using mobile platforms. That's right. Um, so what are the problems you're solving? Um, we really don't know. I mean, so we kind of threw out this broad thesis of mobile health um, to try to figure out really what's out there. So that's one of the things that we can learn um, by doing this is what's the breadth, what's the universe of uh, innovation that's yeah. occurring. And one of the reasons that we, we um, interact with the entrepreneurial community is to keep our eyes on things we don't see and try to you know, cast a wide net yeah. for those opportunities. So if you think of the Accelerator as a boot camp for startups, yeah. it's a 90-day program where yeah. we provide uh, an immense amount of mentorship on the front side, um, and then we help them develop the products in the middle part of the 90-day right. the cycle, and then perfect pitches for you know them to go out and kind of get their business off the ground as quickly as possible. Cool, and it just started. Actually, we opened up applications on September 24th. Okay. Uh, and we'll probably be closing applications sometime in December and Great. then selecting the 10 companies that will be in the accelerator nice. uh, in January. And then the class actually starts in March of 2014. So is there is there any other kind of precedent that Sprint has set related to innovation? Um, we do quite a few things. We've got a lot of national partnerships um, where we try to keep our eyes on kind of what's going on. We have um, announcements here in the San Francisco and the Valley area as it relates to some innovation labs and work that we have going on here. Um, and then we do a lot of things just internally with some of our larger partners. Uh, we just announced a collaboration space back in Kansas City where we're headquartered, uh, focused on our new network rollout, Network Vision. That's awesome. So are you seeing any really interesting results so far? Um, it's those? early. It's early. So uh, I would say um, a little too early to see some tangible results. Right. Uh, the explosion of technology and the, you know, as I refer to it, this kind of exponential discovery uh, era that we're in right now, uh, it's hard to really see where things are going. And so we hope all of these initiatives at some point uh, lead us to some tangible products that help us uh, generate new revenues and, and new customers in the future. Great. It sounds like a great initiative. Thanks so much for sharing it with Thank us. Thank you very much.